repeat yourself? I'm sorry. Oh, uh, not a problem. In that case, you are speaking to the one and only Mr. G, the greatest. And my agent, ID 42606, here at Metro by Noble. How can you assist me today? Yes, um, I've been denied a technical ticket, technical support for over a year. And I'm questioning why a business would mistreat their uh, customer like that that's paying for service. Okay, I tried well, to report it to the police, the but they keep covering for it for multiple different providers. Because, okay. I mean, breaking is hacking a phone network a crime, even if the police enlist businesses to do it out of corruption. And if they hack my phone network, who else's phone network would they hack? Are they conspirators in identity theft schemes? Mm. Okay, so what, what, what seems to be the Because I don't think that they would do all this just for someone, a stalker. I think that maybe they're involved in something highly criminal that they're trying to protect. And my life's already in jeopardy, so, you know, maybe it needs to be exposed, their criminal activity. But I don't understand why they would enlist businesses to be conspirators in the crimes they're committing. Oh, God. So at, at that point, uh, in this case, since it's a very tough situation, it's a strong, crazy case that you're coming up with right now, what are uh, maybe you would you like me to help you with so I can help you out, right? Okay. Because I don't understand if I had, if I could call the real people with my phone, that's definitely a lawsuit from these providers being conspirators in the crime and my life is in jeopardy and they're being enlisted to sabotage services and want to have me calling counterfeits begging for my life. If anything happens to me in a good world, I don't understand why they wouldn't be a part of it and have charges. Mm. So you have charges in your account that are paraders. I have what? Yeah. That's all the only thing father? that you heard? Okay, um, in this case, so I can be able to uh, understand the, 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 the thing that you're quoting it about today. Can I access your account so we can see what's going on as well? So I can help you out, okay? Okay. All right. Yeah, so can you confirm your phone number for me in your account, please? Okay. One o'clock at the moment? Yes, this is Kiana Clark. All right, so Kiana Clark, I'm going to send you a one-time pin, okay? Okay. I'm going to come to you in a text message, and please do read it back to me as soon as you get it from the end, okay? Okay. All right. Person lost her, the limit of June up until today. Okay? Um, they reset my account got disconnected. I've been a customer over June, but some kind of way my um, phone service got um, disconnected prematurely, and I had to start over another account there was like an error. Oh. So all of the information in my request for techno support and everything was deleted. I don't know how a, so someone can just, you know, interrupt and delete your account prematurely, but I keep getting technical glitches like this all the time. So I've been a customer for longer than that, but some kind of way it was a technical glitch and they deleted all the information that was on my account and it restarted like I was a new customer. They could not retrieve my older account. Well, I had been begging for technical support for a long time and it was getting denied. So I've been begging for technical support over June. And in fact, I asked for it that day when I re I told them that I had this stalker that keeps breaking into the network and Metro PCS as, long, as well as multiple other providers are violating me and denying me reports of that in education and investigation for the situation. And I've already addressed that I think that my life, um, with all these conspirators and parties sabotaging my life, I don't feel safe. And I've called multiple times and they told me that technical support would call. They've been giving me that um, mess for over two, ye uh, over two years. Well, over a year, definitely. And I want to know why the techno support is being guarded and why I'm getting lied to by people on the phone and in person. So you'd like to get your all the time that you had with Metro before. Is that the case? So that's all that you're hearing, sir, because like I've addressed the other day, all of these calls and um, when I was really in a crisis, calling organizations and then playing the same games, calling CPS and then people pretending like they can't hear me and playing games, it's all a form of psychological abuse and torture.
because it is very vital for a person to be able to use their call phone and call authentic people and to deprive a citizen from that right out of corruption and force her to talk to counterfeits and people that are going to going to cover for the criminal activity and be condescending is very toxic and sick that it's very narcissistic and I don't want to know why yeah, the government I, would be enlisted in such crimes. Well, but I mean, I've been reporting, I've been trying to give you the education and it's like, you're not understanding me like multiple other parties. I don't believe that it's uh, unintentional. I believe it's on purpose. I don't want to know why I've been denied technical support and education for over a year. And I want to expose that. I believe that you guys are conspirators in crime. And that way, whenever I can get my real phone calls, you can get sued. I, I want it to be known the, okay. the years and the attempts that I've made to save my life and the parties that are being enlisted to commit crimes and violate me so they can get the consequences they deserve. I'm calling supposedly Metro. They did it in person. So it's no yeah, excuse for this, these, uh, this behavior. No excuse. No excuse. Now, that's, I, that I do understand, Jana, but in this case, there's no crime that has been committed or uh, at the moment that I'll be hacking your phone calls or anything when you're trying to call somebody. I can even see the note. You requested to speak to the technical support department, and also at the store, they, wasn't, they, were, they weren't treating you the way you should be treated. And you're having a technical issue with the service, the network is really bad. And I can see the last time they called it. My office. network issue is my network is really bad. That's what they put in the system. Why yeah. do they keep covering for someone breaking into the network, hacking the network, which is a crime? Okay, but how can Metro hack your network? There's no such thing we can hack your network. We only just give you services. Yeah, Metro. That's all. I don't know why so Metro keeps covering for someone hacking my phone network. And putting falsifying information in notes, tampering, uh, helping the police tamper with evidence. Why would Metro commit that crime to keep me in jeopardy? But we would never do that. You're doing it. I'm. You're doing it. Where have when has technical support ever called me after over a year? But there's no. When has technical support called me? When has techno? I have been patient. A person that is fighting for their lives cannot call the real people on their phone, going to the police department, getting violated. I don't feel safe if my um, providers are enlisted in criminal activity to jeopardize uh, my life. When has technical support ever called me over a year if crimes aren't being committed? I'm not quite too sure why they didn't call you, but... Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. You're supposed to be a representative with Metro PCS? Yes, I am. Do you, yes, and I you am. believe I'm that that's sure. excusable for a represent me not to get a car for over a year and my life is in jeopardy? You think that's okay? Well, that's not okay because... Okay, so hold on. What are we going to do? How long are you going to violate my rights and condone and allow someone to break into the network and uh, commit crimes on your network? Mm. Forever? Well, in this case, Canada, this no, not forever, but... Okay, so what is the resolution? What is the resolution? Because you've already tried to cover for the crimes. What is the res resolution? To net Metro PCS okay. violating me, allowing someone to break into their network and being conspirators in crime. Well, what I can actually do... I'm is paying for service that you can't deny. The police law officer lied. If I'm paying for services, that's like theft. You can't deny someone's services and they're paying for it. I don't know why that police would lie to me and cover for the crime. If I'm paying for service, you have no right to deny it. And I don't know why he tried to convince me of that. Well, in this case, uh, right now, Kiana, what can actually be done for you is to actually, I can maybe change, you, change your phone number if you feel like... No, that. I've already and done that. I, also... I want to know why technical support is being guarded 
why I can't get the education on what is being done with my phone, why uh, Metro PCS as well as multiple other providers want to be conspire, uh, conspire in these crimes. And if they have conspired with my the crime of what's being committed with me, are they also conspirators in identity theft? Why is this a huge okay, so identity I'll... theft ring and the police and the government enlist businesses to be a part of their criminal activity? Is this why identity theft is such a, at a huge scale? Because uh, the government can abuse... My life's already in jeopardy. Because the government can abuse resources and steal from people. Is that why they threaten to take me to jail for reporting identity theft? Is the government um, thieves? And they want to violate and cover up for their crimes by violating and covering uh, for what's going on with me to protect themselves. So if you can enlist businesses to violate me... Can you enlist businesses to help you be identity thieves? I mean, I don't know. But something is keeping uh, multiple parties, having uh, multiple parties cover up for crimes and uh, violating me with such a vengeance to keep me silent and oppressed. So I just think that it's pretty sick. If I'm getting violated like this, I mean, and people don't, you know, maybe a lot of parties don't care about me. Maybe they should care about themselves. Maybe what's going on is, you know, identity thieves. The government is listed into being thieves. And it's easy when you can entice businesses to commit crimes with you. It's not hard. You sound just like the real people. And then lie and cover for the crime. So what if they were doing it to elderly people? Then would it matter? There's no such thing that Metric can do to any customer. Yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, you did not take a little support for over a year and you're covering for crimes. You're doing it right now. You are not giving okay. me the true education and you're covering for the crimes. There's no excuse for me not to have technical support in over a year and my life is in jeopardy. There's no excuse for that and you're condoning that behavior. So there is a problem here. And multiple other parties, when they weren't hanging up in my face and the tre treatment was way severe when I wasn't recording, and at at and when they charged me two times in one month for services, they just flat out would not give me. At least I have somewhat services with you guys. at and refused services altogether for a phone bill I was paying. They, I did not have services at all. And they would not give me the services. At least you guys are allowing me to have certain services. They wouldn't give me any services at all paying a phone bill. At all. At all. But I do think that this is highly illegal and I'm on the phone with you trying to get a resolution to why I've been denied techno support and multiple different locations are covering for crimes that happened to me. And we're not moving forward on why techno support is being guarded in education. Because a person that's fighting for their life, they make phone call after phone call after phone call begging for their life, and multiple parties are enlisted to psychological torture, including your, the phone provider, that's pretty sick. Okay, but if that's the case, then Kiana Clark, why don't you open a case so this can be investigated, so we can find the real culprit? I've been in the opening the case for over a year and haven't had a call from technical support. So when are they going to go in to call me? Okay, but what are the authorities saying about this situation? Because You, you just said open up a case. I mean, this is what happened on multiple calls. People cover for the crimes, divert. They're all over the place to try to cover and not get anything resolved. We've been on the phone 18 minutes and you have denied me a resolution for the conflict going on, knowing my life is in jeopardy and the amazing things that I've went over and you have not given me any resolutions out of 18 minutes and 22 seconds. I so I make call after call after call, year after year after year to get absolutely nothing resolved. And in person, I've even been arrested and threatened and handcuffed to enforce criminal activity. Really? Oh, God. Well, God. here's the thing. If my providers are enlisted in the abuse and keep me call talking to counterfeits, and my providers are enlisted to commit crimes and that's okay, 
when the world gets this toxic where you deny citizen a right to go to court on their own court dates, that the, there's a constitutional right that has been in place for years. When you get told so corrupt where you just don't even want that a person at the court date, then you and you get away with it multiple different courts. When you get so sick to where you just will not deliver that party meal because it may incriminate you, would deny them their right, a whole post office and multiple other conspirators. I have never heard of such corruption and people losing their minds out of corruption. Even in the corrupt criminal world, they do give people a counterfeit court date. They just said, forget it and would not let me appear at cult court, multiple different court hearings at multiple different locations. Just go on, go up to the cell phone provider, tell them not to give me service, and they do it. Just go into the organizations, follow right out behind, right behind me because the government's stalking me. Go and they probably aren't even behind me. They probably are before uh, going before I get there. Don't give her services and get away with it. Bless, blessing me from all uh, advocacy and support in domestic abuse and education. Just go right on in, sabotage that. Sabotage my child custody rights, me speaking to my daughter, enforce crimes. Just go right on in, listening on my phone, using using government resources just to listen, break into the camera, having a, you know, able to hear the phone calls, then get angry that I've been begging for my life and show up at a hotel and arrest me there, arrest and assault me there. Just go right on they're in, just, I mean, because they just get furious that I'm asking for help. And it just aggravates them because they're on my phone listening, breaking into my phone, listening to my calls. So it aggravated me then that I had been begging for help a lot. So they just showed up from the hotel, at a hotel room. They've done it multiple times, just out the blue, just show up with a scheme. I've been in the bed at another hotel trying to, um, f f terrified for my life. They come in, beat on the door and force me to leave when I wasn't recording. Didn't have a YouTube channel. Just come, they just abuse power, get out. And it wasn't easy because Dart was playing games, so I couldn't even have access to transit. They would not give me any information on uh, route information or anything like that. So I get in the hotel room, terrified, police show up, beat, beat on the door, and have me leave for nothing. When I was already terrified for my life. Uh. <laughs> Uh, get your right there, Kiana. But in this case, what I can actually advise you to do is you need to bring the authorities to the company of Metro if it means that we are at Metro doing this to you, hacking your system, hacking your account, or hacking all the things that you're doing on your phone. Is there a particular reason why you left? I understand. I so what's going on? A sadistic stalker is able to run the government and control these people. So a sadistic stalker is having these people behave in the manner. I went to the marshals and I told them my son got hit with a car and he left. That's what stalkers do. But if it doesn't make other people, you know, because this has been getting ignored for a long time, I can't be the only one that thinks this is, that this is very dangerous before COVID. Before COVID. So if you let stalkers control the government and do all this damage, what is that going to do for the world? I couldn't get services. Then all of a sudden with COVID, I was closing in on a lot of criminal activity. If you look at these dates, a lot of these things happened in 2019. Then 2020, COVID happened. So here's the thing. The government is allowing someone that doesn't have the proper mental capacity run them. And what kind of schemes have they been enlisted to commit? What other things are they doing under wraps that people are not aware of? My life's already in jeopardy. If you can talk cell phone providers into doing this uh, chaos and all these people to cover for crimes, I'm, I'm not safe. So, sir, you laugh like multiple other parties and we still have not given, you haven't given me techno support or why are they being guarded and why have they not called me? And how long do you guys think that you're going to get away with this? I said, I, Kiana, I cannot tell you why we're not calling you, but you are in the technical support 
I can fix anything you want me to fix for you. I can protect your account. I can protect your phone service. Well, then why did they tell me that technical support had to call me and they never did? Well, yeah, let's say we don't do outbound calls. Okay, why are they falsifying information saying that I've had network issues? Why are they falsifying information and then put that I believe someone was breaking into the network committing crimes? Why are they covering up for the crimes? I'm not quite too sure. This is the second that time that falsified information was put in the reports and they were covering for someone breaking into the network like they did at AT&T and handcuffed me and pre- tried to prevent me from reporting it there. Well, threatened to handcuff me. Oh. When I wasn't recording, it was really something amazing. So we've been on the phone 24 minutes and 52 seconds. Are you going to, are you denying me the right to have technical support? Will that continue? Are you guys conspirators in crime? Because I will sue if I ever get my rights back. I am definitely suing all these parties that wanted to be conspirators in crime. And I don't feel safe and I fear my life is in jeopardy. And they are all enlisted to commit these crimes and cover for it and force um, the abuse. I want those parties to get the consequences they deserve. I think this is highly sick. What can you do? Are you going to report that someone's breaking into the phone and all the crimes I just told you about? Well, if it if it if it means we have for me to actually actually escalate this issue, I will have to do it. Okay, I, they've already escalated, and I haven't had a call from an invest uh, um, the IT or anyone that does investigations for over a year. You don't do what? Yeah, no. So what? We don't do outbound calls. We don't, we don't make calls to customers. We only receive calls. That is why it's called customer service. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you receiving a call from technical support. The reason why you didn't get the call is because we don't make calls to customers. We don't call customers back. We only receive calls. Okay, so when I call on my phone, Attorney General has been committing crimes, um, Hulu, um, my cell phone. I just, I don't really talk about it because I didn't think people would believe me. My, um, the card, credit card companies have been committing crimes, cutting off my card, um, and then covering for someone controlling my card. There was evidence of it. So I'm trying to get to the bottom of why how this is happening, and if it if, if it's a scheme to sabotage the rights of our uh, uh, citizens, then would it matter if the government is a conspir- conspirators and I uh, and uh, I be identity theft? Then would it matter if it hasn't mattered for me all this time? Because I don't understand why they would take it so serious that I'm reporting identity theft. And I don't think that they just will uh, protect this man with the vengeance they're protecting him for monetary gain. I think they're conspirators in the crimes that he's committing. And I think if see people can uh, sabotage and um, counterfeit my calls, then maybe they're doing it for other parties that maybe not be uh, maybe not aware that it's happening. Then would it matter if other citizens were getting violated along with me? Because all they have to do is enlist the providers. It's simple. Look at what they're doing with me. My life's already in jeopardy, so let's go ahead and expose the crimes. So obviously you're not going to help because you're, I don't believe that, I'm not really sure if this is Metro PCS, but they've been enlisted to commit the crimes in person. 
So I'm just trying to figure oh, out as right. all these crimes that have happened on these cha this channel getting ignored, maybe if other citizens were getting violated as well, then it matter. So someone's breaking into the network. Are you refusing any kind of um, assistance with that? What can you do? That's why I'm saying the only way we can be able to fix this is by protecting your account, protecting your number. Okay, that's the only way this could be done. But if you're not prepared to do that, there's nothing else that I can do. We can't be pulling you back. Or if you want to open a case, you can open a case and then the investigation will take place. Okay, well, open a case because I've been doing it for over a year. Then and then they've been falsifying it. information and covering for it. So just open up a case. Because it's frustrating to call business after business, Department of Justice, and get hung up on the FBI. I mean, that I, that's really sadistic and narcissistic for the government to do that. Then um, deflect and then gaslight me and flip things back on me. And just surround me with narcissists and abusers. And enforce criminal activity. Mm. No, I understand. I understand. So you just might as well just open up a case, and if that's the case, yeah, no, because I can't stop you from what, from what you're thinking. Okay, so now you're, you're telling me to open up. I did say that I wanted to open up a case. Are you are, are you opening in the case? Now, I'm not going to open the case, but I'm saying the resolution so you know what's going to happen. Okay, so you want to open up a case with Metro PCS. You want me to open up a case? Yes, because right now... Because, I mean, they, imagine elderly people calling in, getting this chaos. With, that's why they don't get anything resolved and we have to have these people. Uh, imagine these schemes and these techniques and then, you know, elderly people desperate getting robbed. People that matter and have value. And then they get these counterfeits covering for all the crimes and they don't have the, and they believe it because, I mean, how could someone counterfeit calls? This is 2022 that we have law enforcement enforcing criminal activity today. It's different. We have the government that want to be part of the crimes. The government's the gangsters in 2022. So it's different. So they can just break into the phone, elderly person's phone. You just go up to the business. Hey, we want you to come and help us with the crime. I don't know if that's what they're enlisting the businesses to do. But hey, let's just go ahead and, you know, en enlist the businesses to help us be criminals. Just go right on in. They go right into the hotels, have the hotel scheme and lie and deny services. Just go right on in. It's government. Have the marshals, have the marshals guard services, violate someone, the whole, uh, 10, 15 marshals. And I'm not going to even discuss the abuse on the street and the threats and all that, the daily experiences that no one would believe. I still experience things today that I don't even talk about because I don't think people would believe it. It's crazy. I would need to have, get a dash cam so people can see the chaos I experience daily that I can't even talk about. So, sir... Are you denying me anything with all this chaos that I've reported to you? Any kind of help and support? And I don't know why they keep lying and covering for someone breaking into a network, sabotaging the report of that. So are you denying any kind of help for me not making the real place in the real calls and not getting calls all over the United States that I've called places and my calls aren't being returned? Well, in this case right now, Kiana, there's no way we could be lying to you, which is why I'm supposed to be able to phone. You are lying because they told me they called technical support would call me multiple times. We're not getting anything resolved and they never called. Then you said that you would um, submit um, an escalation and then you're telling me to do it on my own and I don't work there. I understand, but in this case, I did already give you an option as to what you can do. What, we can. what, are the, what is the option? What's the option? It's to put protection into your account if you feel like... Put a what? Put what? Protection to secure your account. 
okay, if someone's hacking the network and counterfeiting my calls and you're denying me the right to be put on the uh, right network and I'm paying for that service and you're denying me services, you're allowing someone to hack your network, which puts my other people at risk and then deny me the right to figure out what's going on and lying and sabotaging information in the reports, covering for the person that's hacking my phone for years. You have had representatives lie in person and on the phone. You're not deflecting on that. And I've been denied technical support for over a year. You're deflecting on that. Well, that's not the case, Kiana. But that's I'm not the case? Well, when has technical Why would you cover for crimes? When has technical support called me? You're not covering up for any crime. That's well, the why? They are covering up for crimes as they falsify what I'm saying in the reports and covering for the fact that someone's hacking my phone and denying me investigation. They are absolutely covering for crimes. If they're falsifying information in what I'm reporting, multiple different representatives I speak with and in person deny me the uh, investigation and lie to me about how to report it and give me and uh, not giving me proper investigation, they are absolutely covering for it. And AT&T was so corrupt, they would not even give me the phone services I was paying for. My phone was off and I paid for services. And I had multiple parties that I reported things to supposed to be calling me back or with that phone number. And I could not get that phone. I bought a new phone and still could not get the new phone activated. They claimed there was problems with that phone. So I went to go buy another phone and never could get my phone service back on when I was not recording. So I just had to go to another provider. I don't have rights. So all providers are committing crimes and enforcing the criminal activity. So what does it mean? Uh, what difference does it make to keep changing providers when the police enlist all of them to be criminals with them? We still, we've been on the phone 35 minutes and 54 seconds. This is my life. And you're not willing to give me any assistance, period. This has been going on years. As a phone provider, what can you come up with with multiple staff lying in reports, covering for the criminal activity, and in person, and technical support not calling me within over a year? Okay, so there's no way we'd actually cover up for any crime. If there what are you going to do, sir? You're covering for it now. You're covering for it now. No, you no, are no. absolutely covering for it right now. No, not a, what are the not resolutions to someone not. breaking into the network? I have evidence that someone has been hacking the network. My phone service went off. I went to Metro PCS. She said the only thing she can do was suspend my phone and was rude. She would not do a report and did not do it in person and call the police to enforce the crime. That is covering for the crime, sir. Absolutely it is. So what? Okay. why are you not willing to um, in, in, uh, report that so I can get investigations if you got... I just think I need... I, this isn't changing. It's just, it just, you know, with so many parties enlisted in the criminal activity, it's just frustrating. So hopefully I've obtained enough evidence. This is, I mean, when you're talking to counterfeits, it's not going to go anywhere. So you're not going to give me the assistance that you're supposed to give me, right? You're going to want to continue to cover for the crimes if that's what's going to happen? There's no crime they're covering up for. That's the thing. So in this if, case, if techno support, not. you are committing a crime if you falsify what I'm reporting and don't deny me techno support and not don't investigate why I haven't been getting calls all over that I've made all over the United States and I'm in a domestic violence situation. That is absolutely being a conspirator in a crime. It is. You're sugarcoating it. If I'm not getting my calls and I'm calling all over the United States in a domestic violence situation, if my data cut off my... um phone service cut off in the past altogether with Metro PCS, then that got deleted so it would never be evidence of it. Prematurely, how did my account get deleted and I had to get another account? How, why did they just decide on their own that my whole account was going to be deleted? And I almost didn't get the number. And then when I pitched the fifth and I got the same number, I needed that number because I had a lot of things going on. And I, they almost didn't give the num me the number, but I was going to call the police on Metro like I did on AT&T. 
But then they went ahead, they just deleted it from nowhere. And that's why you have the account starting in June because it was a technical glitch where my older account was deleted. But if you can do all this damage and I have been ignored and didn't matter, maybe uh, other people and their livelihood and I'm being uh, the government being enlisted to be identity thieves, maybe, maybe that'll matter because they've been stole a lot of money from me. So maybe it's like, um, 